Every week we have patients that come to our clinic because they have been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. However, they are going to support groups and they, they compare themselves with other people that have Parkinson's and, and they notice that they're not exactly the same or they have been taking the carbidopa, levodopa, and even they have been taking a large dose of the carbidopa, levodopa, but they are not noticing much of an improvement on, on, on their condition. So they begin to question, do I really have Parkinson's disease? And many times they had a DAT scan test done and, and they were told, yes, you know, the DAT scan is abnormal. This means that you have Parkinson's disease. So let's, let's talk about what is the meaning of a DAT scan. So a DAT scan is an imaging test that might help diagnose people with Parkinson's disease. And this is a test where uh, patients will receive a, a radioactive contrast, and, and this is going to be administered intravenously, and the patient is going to wait a few hours, and then they will come back. And the expectation is for this contrast to bind to uh, dopamine neurons. So after a few hours, using very specialized equipment, uh, we're going to try to find this contrast in the brain, right? And after the contrast is administered, what we're trying to do is, is find these dopamine neurons, right? And we'll, I'm just going to keep it simple, dopamine neurons. That's how we're going to call them. So in people with Parkinson's disease, because the, the, the neurons that make dopamine has been slowly uh, deteriorating or uh, degenerating, the amount of signal that is captured in the image is typically smaller in the part of the brain known as the striatum. So it's smaller compared to people that do not have Parkinson's disease. However, be aware that the DAT scan will show the same findings in any condition in which there is a lot of uh, dopamine nerve endings in this part of the brain. So this means that a positive DAT scan does not necessarily mean that a person has Parkinson's disease. So I'm just gonna uh, break here in a second let me show you how a DAT scan looks. So, so right here in the image, we have a normal DAT scan and we have an abnormal DAT scan. And in the normal DAT scan, uh, you know, we see this comma-shaped structure. This is a, the striatum, right? And uh, you see this particular shape and they are quite symmetric. And what this tells me is that the uptake of the contrast in these dopamine neurons seems to be within the normal range. This is what we call a normal DAT scan. However, as we move to the image on the right side, we see that there is a uh, decrease in the uptake of this um, uh, contrast. So, so we don't see that comma shape, right? So th this is abnormal, right? And many times, even so, we see that there is an asymmetry. One side is actually smaller than the other side, which uh, goes along with uh, the typical finding in people with Parkinson's where, um, where one side of the body is typically more affected than the other side. So what other conditions may have an abnormal DAT scan? Multiple system atrophy, which is known as MSA, corticobasal degeneration, Lewy body disease, progressive supranuclear palsy, and, and basically any other condition affecting this dopaminergic system. And be aware that all these conditions, they look very similar one to the other. They all look very similar to one to the other. And this is why it is so complex, right? All these conditions within the first three to five years, uh, they look very similar to Parkinson's disease. So it can be very difficult to differentiate one condition from the other. So the other question that I, I get in the clinic is, can a that can tell me how advanced is the Parkinson's disease? And the answer is no. At this point, as of today, um, January of 2023, we do not uh, we do not have any software or any way to tell if the DAS can can help us uh, measure the progression of Parkinson's disease. So, how is this test helpful? So, the most common use is to differentiate people with Parkinson's disease from essential tremor, which is another condition uh, that is commonly associated with tremors in the hands. It can also help your doctor assess if you have a dopamine deficiency disorder. And some people who have a what we call a drug-induced Parkinsonism, uh, this test might help differentiate it from Parkinson's disease. So the next question then is, how is Parkinson's disease diagnosed? So Parkinson's disease is diagnosed using a combination of uh, the historical progression of your symptoms. So your doctor is going to sit down. He's going to be asking you multiple questions, uh, trying to assess if you have the classic symptoms that uh, show the progression of the Parkinson's. Then he's going to do a physical examination. He's going to be looking for, for tremor, stiffness, slowness, and other symptoms. And then 
It's going to be ruling out other potential conditions. This might include blood work, MRIs, EEGs. It, it depends. There might be multiple tests. So uh, my recommendation is uh, I have a video coming very soon. Uh, watch the video that is called uh, How is Parkinson's Disease Diagnosed? And um, I am going to be discussing in more detail how uh, your doctor uh, can make a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. So um, once again, uh, if you want to know more uh, relevant information about Parkinson's disease and Parkinsonian syndrome, please subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we have the uh, YouTube address here, or you can find the link under um, uh, this video where you can subscribe and you can also like the, the video that gives me some feedback about um, the kind of things that people would like to hear more about. And you also can visit uh, my blog website, uh, learnaboutparkinson.com. And uh, remember that we are in the Orlando, Florida area. If you want to have more information about our clinic, our website is www.neurology1.net. I hope that you find this uh, video helpful and uh, feel free to share it with other people that uh, you know that might have questions about the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Bye.